Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Ankit. I am a 2020 graduate from VIT Chennai and I have made multiple videos on VIT that you can check on my channel. In this particular video, we are going to know how to calculate your GPA for any semester. So I saw that many of you are trying to guess your GPAs. So there is no need of guessing. You can know the exact method to calculate your GPA. And towards the end of this video, I'll also provide an Excel sheet uh, where you can enter the subjects that you had in the semester and calculate your GPA. With that, let's move forward. So let's assume you had three subjects in the semester and those were physics, chemistry and maths. So you would know how many credits each of those subjects had. So let's say physics had four credits, chemistry had three credits and math, maths had five credits. So you had a total of 12 credits. Next, you should know the grade that you obtained in those subjects. So let's say you obtained A grade in physics, B grade in chemistry and C grade in maths. So you should also know that A corresponds to 9 out of 10. Chemistry, you got B. So B corresponds 8 out of 10 and maths corresponds to 7 out of 10. So if you know all of this, let's move forward. Now you would need to calculate the total weightage of that subject for your final GPA calculation. So how do you calculate the total weightage? So let's say you got nine points, that is A grade in physics. So you would multiply nine by four, that is 36. Similarly, you would multiply eight into three for chemistry, that is 24. And you will multiply seven with five for maths, and that is 35. And then combined weightage of all the subjects is 95. So now you know that the total number of credits that you had in the semester were 12 and the total weightage of all the subjects uh, that was that is 95. So in the next step you need to divide the combined weightage of all the subjects that is 95 by 12 to get your exact GPA. So in this case your GPA is 7.916. So I hope until this part it was all clear. With that let's move forward. So I've also attached an Excel sheet uh, below this video in the description. And in case you do not find that there, you can find it on my Telegram group where you can simply enter the different subjects you had and the number of credits those subjects had and the grade you obtained to get your final GPA. So I'll show you with an example. So let's say you had physics that had total of five credits and you got A grade. So if you enter physics five and A, you can see that your final GPA is nine. Let's say you also add chemistry and you had chemistry for four credits and you got B grade in chemistry. So you can see that the final GPA will be 8.55 in this case. So I'll provide this uh, file either below this video or in my telegram group where you can find it. With that, uh, let's conclude this video. Subscribe me on YouTube for more such videos and join me on telegram. Thank you.